SolarWit Affinities and Resonances is a collaboration between the Caldor Public Arts Project and the Art Gallery of New South Wales and sees this incredible wall drawing by American artist SolarWit in conversation with Central Desert artists Emily Noare and Gloria Pachara. And central to this exhibition is a series of new musical collaborations between an American musician and an Indigenous musician aiming to bring these two worlds together in a sonic space inside the gallery. I heard from Jonathan through a record label that I work with in the States. In the first meeting, he explained the interaction, the dialogue with the Central Desert artists and the Lewitt and the music and how all that was going to be presented as, as like one conversation. I was working in West Sydney. Chuck was from Oakland and we initially met over a Zoom call to discuss the project. We started off just sending each other audio files of sounds that we created and were in some way connected to or inspired by the art. It was sort of non-linear right. in the way that like we were sending stuff to each other but then it would be put together. Like there are some layers that I sent to you that you've taken and put somewhere else right. and recontextualized it. We would receive each other's sounds kind of treat them or process them on the receiving end and then send them back and kind of create this, I don't know, almost like exquisite corpse back and forth. I was inspired by the idea that I know that the series of wall drawings started with improvisation on Lowitt's part and that just seemed like a natural connection to music and how any kind of music s starts as improvisation. Yeah, I kind of lent on the synthesizer. It seemed to lend itself towards uh, Loopy Doopy you know, it's wobbly lines and uh, synthesizers make wobbly lines really, really fast. <laughs> like that's a frequency wave, right? And then there's some guitar as well. Yeah, with the guitar, it was mostly about playing loops, but because it's me playing the loop, like I'm not looping it, um, I'm always not playing it correctly. But like, that's the whole point because the piece sometimes syncs up um, and I sometimes sync up with Chuck and other loops that are happening and then other times it goes out of sync. When two frequencies aren't aligned properly, like acoustically or, or in tune, it creates beating patterns, kind of like moiré patterns. And that's what this is doing big With time. With your eyeballs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, playing into the disorientation and as well as like these loops are based off an improvisation to begin with. So to try and keep it loose like that. I knew that I wanted one of my main sonic contributions to be the pedal steel guitar. And because it's just such a natural analogy with these, these swooping, curving lines and the pedal steel guitar is best known for these sort of glissando type shapes. And, um, and it's just a beautiful melodic instrument, you know. There are times in, the, in our piece where I process it so it's maybe a little grittier or uh, plays on the distortion and kind of disorienting effect. So I think that combined with the very melodic um, arpeggiating synthesizers that Josh contributes, it's vibrant and it's alive and it feels like it's in constant motion. Yeah. <laughs>